in South Africa. Over the past two weeks, attacks have escalated. We have 60 trucks that were burnt and they were looted. And this continued violence could have dire consequences on the struggling economy as four out of five goods transported in South Africa is done by road. The BBC's Nom Samasego reports. Calling for divine intervention for an industry that's come under siege. Over the past 18 months, attacks on truck drivers have increased in frequency and viciousness here in South Africa. We pass here twice a week. It's been more than a week since driver Jan Janssen was forced to leave his best friend and brother-in-law on the side of the road after his truck was petrol bombed. You see here, his, uh, Bernard's truck was standing here. The front of his, his cab was more or less where that ash is lying. The two drivers pulled over their vehicles to rest and were asleep when unknown assailants set their trucks alight. There was trucks involved that carry food, that carry clothing, and they didn't stole one piece of clothes, one piece of tin of food. They also and always attack the truck, start burning it. It's believed the attacks are as a result of a labor dispute in which trucking companies are accused of hiring foreign drivers and overlooking experienced locals. The South African government has described these attacks as an act of economic sabotage. The law will prevail and uh, in this particular instance our law enforcement agencies are working very hard to ensure that those who are perpetrating this are brought to book. They are using what we call a guerrilla tactic, hit and run. The Road Freight Association estimates that since March last year, more than 200 truck drivers have been killed and over 1,300 vehicles damaged. A specialized police unit has been set up to patrol motorways where these attacks are most prevalent. Nomsa Masego, BBC News, South Africa.